Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video I'm going to be doing this uh, rather rustic sort of old building which can be found in uh, Manchester um, and I'm just going to be doing a, a, a rough sort of quick sketch. Um, I think sometimes we can get bogged down with details and I'm not after that in this I just wanted a uh, almost an illustration type painting so if you're looking at um, painting buildings and um, more of a complicated scene then this may be um, helpful to you I hope it is uh, helpful uh, let me know in the comments what you think if this uh, helps um, but I'm I'm using my pen I just really quickly did a pencil outline and then I'm just using pen and you can see the windows I'm not uh, looking for accurate sort of details as long as the uh, pers perspective is um, almost right it don't have to be perfect again um, I'm happy with that so this is uh, just a, a really quick short video on how to simplify and uh, not get worried and bogged down with detail so just going in with uh, some nice color and that's really it so please let me know what you think please watch the video to the end give us a thumbs up uh, leave a comment and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do consider subscribing this is actually a hot press paper which i don't often use but i did buy some uh, it's actually a buckingford hot press it's 140 pound so I just wanted to do something slightly different because I'm doing more um, with the pen um, I wanted a smoother surface to work from so if you are uh, more into your pen ink sort of drawings sketches things like that then hot press paper is probably the best bet because you got a smoother surface to work from and it doesn't sort of damage any nibs of your pens so just just going in, um, adding some uh, shadows and darker tones, filling the windows and um, just all the different sort of details. I do love the, uh, I just, I really do enjoy looking at sort of old buildings and um, just, just ruins and, and uh, buildings that have fallen apart. I just think they're, they're more, there's more character to them than uh, a brand new build. And so that's what attracted me to this uh, building. It's been there for years and years and years. As far as I can remember, uh, it's not really changed. It's just been sort of abandoned, I think. Uh, it certainly looks abandoned. Um, and it's just a bit sort of uh, a bit of an eyesore, but um, it just looks like a nice thing to paint. The paints I'm using, I'm uh, again using my Winsor & Newton um, professional grade paints. It, they're just easy for me, I know what I'm expecting, I know what they are capable of. I'm quite comfortable using these, um, so I'm using the Winsor & Newton uh, palette. So I really like this, this sign on the building, um, it does have um, a nice cast shadow uh, by the letters so it helps that sign stand out and so I'm just highlighting that or going over it with a black pen and uh, just helps that to pop and there is actually a car and a couple of people in this scene or certainly one person and a car um, so I will be adding that and um, just just to make it look you can see <laughs> I did actually forget to record, to press record when I did that, um, but there's the car and the person sort of walking through the scene. There's actually another person that I've added. Uh, it's not a reflection, it's just uh, another person. Well, I hope you like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.